welcome back uh, everyone so as promised today I'm gonna work uh, with posts and uploading multiple images in posts so here when we go to create posts is actually our form it's not supporting this so where is this form located this form if I close everything down it's in located in resources views users post and here it is create that blade now we we've come so far we know how to do now controllers models migrations stuff like that now we haven't done a load of multiple images now this here will be very interesting so and it will be a little bit different but it's not going to be so much dramatically changed from our users profile images right so here we will see files equal true not equal so yeah use you don't use equal so files true now here I'm gonna copy it here I think after the body or before body I'm not sure I, I will put it put it before body and we will say label it will be photo ID and I will say upload photo upload photos because you can have multiple now this one here will be file so and here we'll say photo ID and you have these brackets these brackets will mean that we need to say okay yeah I'm gonna allow here to, to accept multiple to accept multiple files or values so make sure that you spell this multiple correctly now form control I don't need any placeholders anything like that I think I'm done now so if I save it if I refresh I will have upload photos no files selected let's put it this to or let's put this to here it is two files selected now if you remove multiple multiple or if you remove this and if you refresh again you will have two files selected but just wait you can still select you will not be able to select two files right it's not gonna allow you this actually is video but you can't select two files Oops. So, return back control Z to normal that's it now what we need to do we need to create our uh, our tables actually so for this I will use we did have this photo and let's put here images right so I'm gonna do it PHP artisan create or make model let's start with the model and I will say image dash M and this model will create the migration for me as well now let's jump to the migration or let's jump to image model here it is here we don't have anything but as it usual we need to say protected fillable and here we will just say post ID and the name that's it so we're gonna say post ID and the name and also what I'm going to create here build a relationship here I will say public function post in this post will return this function will return this belongs to post class now this post class we need to import it right app that post now this class has been imported one more thing that we need to do before doing that so we need to check so our po our image is actually done we need to check what what's happening with the migration that we just created so the model is there I'm done with the model I just need to go to the database migrations and I create images table very good 
Now I do have this create images and drop images. Now in create images we need to put two things. In this table I just want, let's make this one big, big increments. In here I will say ID, very good. Now one more thing that I want is unsigned integer table and I just want to unsign big integer and that will be the post ID. This post ID will reference from the posts because here we do have the ID from the posts. All right. Now let's get back to this and I will say stable string. So here I just want to have name. So this table will have three fields. Actually, five fields because this will be two updated and created. So updated and created will have a name, will have the post ID that will reference from the post table and I will have the ID that will be automatically incremented and drop table if it exists. So images and this one we are done. Now also create, we have nothing to add. So what we are what we can do we we haven't finished it we haven't we haven't finished actual relation so here in our photo in, in our image we do have this belongs to so to your post but here in the post we can just link it up and saying okay public function I want that um, post to have as many images as it can and they can belong to that post only image so I can reference to this so I'm gonna say return this has many and I will say image class and I need to semicolon at the end so what I've done, post an image. In the image, I have put public function post. So this image belongs to a post. And in a post, I can have image that this post can have basically many images. So has many is the relationship we need to put there. So I'm done with this relating these images and post. So I can use its methods. Now, where do we save this one? Here it is, users post control. I can copy this, control P, and I can look it up. Right now here, in actual store method, so we have store and we have update method as well. So in our store mode, I'm not gonna change user post request because if you click control and click the user post request, you can see that we have the title body. We don't have anything else like the images. I'm not gonna change it. If you want, put it in require so you will not be able to put a post without image if it's that something that you're going to now okay users control users post controller I'm going back here now here we need to do as I told you a couple of things so before doing do this post user post right and create the data after that I really would like to check something. So after here, I'm gonna say if request similar hash file, not like that, not hash file, has file, and I will say photo ID here. So actually we are checking this one. So if we have multiple actually photo IDs, so what we can do here, I'm just gonna say files equals request file and I'm gonna grab that photo ID also what I'm going to do I'm just gonna look through all of those files so I'm storing all of the files here maybe I will have five or ten so I'm gonna say for each um, yeah just gonna say for each for each and I'm gonna say files as file so what I will do inside I will grab each individual and I will process each file that I have 
So I will say name and I will use the time function here and I will concatenate it with dash. So I will mimic something that Laravel is doing. You will see what's, ha what's happening. So file, oops, get client original name. Very good. So get client original name. After that, I will say name equal string re replace. Here it is, string loop. I will use this function, string replace. So what I'm going to replace here, I'm gonna replace empty with dash. And I'm gonna say name here. So I'm gonna look for the empty string and I'm gonna replace it with dash. That is inside there. Now, I want to move, I want to move the file so I do have already images. So it's not gonna create another images folder for me. So I'm gonna store it there. So if you want to create, create post images in order to know them, but I'm just gonna put it in the images folder. By the way, let's let's finish this one and I will just here, post. Now, here I do have this post variable, right? because we have created post variable from this class here. So this is object of this class here. So I can use this post object and access the image. That's why we create a relation. So the post, wait here, I can access this function. So post image, and from there I can say create, and inside I'm gonna pass in what? Name, sorry name and I will say the name of each file that I have this one so this one is cleaned replaced with all of the empty strings with dash and stuff like that now images I was trying to show you the images and I started doing something so in the public I do have these images and we do have only this guy here All right let's create I don't want to confuse you guys. I don't. I have it in my in my other version that I'm I'm looking at in creating this project. I have the images, but let's create post images. I just want to confuse it. So here there will be another folder called post images, right? So I don't want to put it inside the images there. Very good. So post images, and I will have the name. So what I what I'm gonna try doing here? I'm just gonna comment this. And I'm just gonna comment that one. So I'm just gonna dine dump. So I'm just gonna echo. I'm not gonna dine dump. I'm just gonna echo the name here. And you will see what is trying. So I comment this one. I don't wanna save anything in the database. And I don't wanna save in here. So let's refresh. New post. And I will say this, this. Uh, let's put it like different images and here multiple images body so this is just normal text and the title has been taken very good because it's unique new post with images very good see our application is working as it should post created successfully why is that okay <laughs> because we are returning it back Yes. Let's see if, if anything happened. Here it is. There is no post, guys. But because I forgot not to return it back. You post with images. And I'm just going to put it like there. Here it is. I do have this JPEG. And I do have this design with PHP. So it's putting a timestamp here dash modern web bootcamp dash design with PHP. So what I've done if I don't use this string replace it will look like this. Yeah and the page is not there anymore. I will just put it like that. So it will be 
yeah, we, I, will, I, I don't want to have any space between them, right? Because my images, they're specifically, sorry, they're specifically like that with a with space between them. So, for example, this one, Modern Web Bootcamp, this is the title of my course, but does it have a space between So, why I want to remove that? Because I just want to have a uniform name here like this images not available with dashes in the middle so what i'm doing here i'm just cleaning up the name i'm removing the, this white space and i'm putting it like this now so what we can do we can say put a break here let's see if it's going to work like that yep and obviously it's not going to work now it's going to work. So you're going to see two of the images. Now, this is the time. It's always going to be different. If I refresh now, it will be page expired. But now if I put it back, it will be a different time there. So time, Angular, JPEG. Actually, they're both the same. Modern Web Bootcamp. And there is a comma, actually. You can remove the comma if you want. But design with PHP, right? That's what That was my goal. So if you want to go one step further, just clean that commas. You can do it and yeah that's pretty much it now I do have all of the images I know it's working now let's see if they are going to be saved in the database it actually I need to save them in two places one is in the post one is in the images folder but before that remember that we need to do PHP artisan migrate right because we don't have the images table we will run into a problem here because it will say okay you're trying to save something and there is no images this is the body of sixth post with multiple images very good in here sixth post and the two images are selected let's see Post created successfully. Now, if I go here, I will have the six posts. Very good. But if I go in a, in a, sorry, I don't have it here. I need to refresh it. If I go to the images, I do have this two times. So the ID is one and two, but the post ID is the same. So these are referencing to the same post ID. So basically, what we have done, we've, we've just put two images for the same post but they do have different IDs that doesn't matter we can just grab all of the po all of the images with this ID and that's pretty much it now this ID 9 comes from the post table and that's pretty much awesome and perfect and I'm also logged in as Rick that's why the user ID is 1 in the view posts Actually, we don't have a view post. <laughs> Next time we will create the view post. I, I, I thought that we did have that one. So thank you for watching. I will re-summarize everything. Next one. Next lecture because this one is too long. So hope you enjoyed this. And now you know how to upload multiple images for one post. Thank you.